Smallpox inoculation. Smallpox was one of the scourges of the 17th and 18th century. The list of symptoms is thoroughly pleasant. Large pustules all over your skin and that are more or less guaranteed to scar. Terrible fever and vomiting. The disease is extinct now aside from samples kept in laboratories. Yet another reason to be glad we live in this modern age. Inoculation for smallpox in America began sometime in the early 1720s in Boston when a preacher named Cotton Mather found out about the idea for one of his slaves. The method was simple, if rather disgusting. You find someone who, was, who has a mild case of the disease, then grind up parts of their sores and put it under the skin of the person being inoculated, generally in a scratch between the thumb and forefinger. The second person would get a less severe form of the disease and afterwards would be immune for about 10 years. Statistically speaking, inoculation worked. Well, it wasn't without its drawbacks. Smallpox in any form was extremely dangerous, and people regularly died from being inoculated. Also, because inoculating people was essentially infecting them with the disease, there was always the chance that they could cause an outbreak. A case of the cure being worse than the disease. It wasn't until 1796 that a less dangerous form of vaccination was introduced. A British doctor, of course he was British, named Edward Jenner, discovered that being infected with cowpox, which was non-lethal, would give immunity to smallpox as well. Jenner has made discovery by infecting a young boy with cowpox and then trying to infect him with smallpox. In the name of science, I'm sure the child would have been delighted to know. Given his methods, it's not surprising Jenner's findings were frowned upon by the medical establishment and the cowpox-based vaccinations didn't see wide use until some time in after 1800. The Great Fire of New York, September 21st, 1776. The Great Fire destroyed as much as a quarter of the buildings in New York and caused a housing crisis that lasted as long as the British occupation of the city. New York at the time was largely deserted. First loyalists had moved out as the Continental Army moved in, and then the Continental Army left, and many of the Patriots went with it. Many buildings were empty and the conditions were dry, so when the flames started they spread quickly, ripping through the poor sections of the city and seeming to spread to several places at, the, at once. This is probably part of what caused rumors that the Continental Army was responsible. Such a big fire couldn't have been an accident, except it, it seems it was. There's no proof that, this, that the rebels were involved at all. Washington had considered setting fire to the city as he retreated, but Congress had voted against it. Washington was fairly clear in his writings about the event. Providence, or some good honest fellow, has done more for us than we were disposed to do for ourselves. That is, wasn't us, but I'm not sorry it happened. Hi. You shoot me, I shoot you. That's how it goes. And now I need some cartridge. Thank you. Okay, is this broken again? Hi. Bye. Oh, good. Darling, take the children and stay out of sight.
Come on! Punch something! To West Point. Benedict Arnold, born 1741, general in the American Revolution, America's best known traitor, though I'm not sure that's what he would have printed on his business cards. Arnold also happens to be a war hero on the American side, though many people don't know that. Before Arnold turned traitor, he had a reputation both for bravery and for genuinely caring for the soldiers who served under him. He was instrumental to the rebel capture of Fort Ticonderoga in May of 1775, and his leg was careful during the Battle of Saratoga in 1777, so he certainly put the effort in. Unfortunately, his career advancement was spotty. He had a habit of getting into arguments with his superior officers, which is usually not a good move if you want a promotion. While George Washington recommended him for various commands, other officers had no use for him. When Arnold was given command of West Point in 1780, he promptly tried to turn it over to the British in exchange for £20,000 and a commission as a brigadier general. That's the spirit. The conspiracy was undercover before Arnold could actually betray the fort and he fled north. Nobody knows for certain why Arnold betrayed the Americans. His frustrations in being passed over for promotion obviously has nothing to do with it, but there's also speculation that Arnold had significant debts. The money he'd been promised would be sure to settle that. Unfortunately for him, he never received the promised cash, or at least not all of it, since the British didn't actually capture West Point, Arnold only received £6,000, and while he did become a Brigadier General as promised, nobody trusted him, once a traitor, always a traitor. Jamie Colley is the son of a New York dock worker, James Colley. His story doesn't record the name of his mother, though the assistant record notes she worked on a plantation in the southern colonies. As a boy, Colley spent three years as a student at the Trinity School, where he was reported to be a bright student, reading everything he could get his hands on. His instructors noted that he was destined for great things. I know you're wondering, yes, your school permanent record really is that permanent. However, after that brief period, he disappears from the school's attendance roll. My guess would be left because he needed to start earning money. It seems Coley's prospect didn't uh, did much approve through his teenage years. I have records of him being fined for vagrancy several times, which is never the sign of a high flyer. After that, he worked doing odd jobs for various local businesses, finally ending up working for a local physician, where his intelligence was recognized as an asset. He worked for several years as the doctor's assistant, where he met Connor. Okay, so what am I doing here? Right over in our midst. Find the spy and kill him without being noticed. I can climb. Damn it. 
Now it's going into there, and that's being watched. I don't think I killed the two spies without being detected. Okay, that's close. That's him. Oh, it's not going to mark it for me. Okay. Nope, not what I wanted. Assassin's come back? Yes. Go, Massachusetts. The guns of Ticonderonga. Okay, one going walking towards me. Going into the tent. Going away from the tent. Where'd Travis get off to? Heard his son has got the sickness. Arnold sent him home. <laughs> Not when I heard. Um, used to be torturing a fellow soldier. Here, boy! To me! Okay, the remaining spies. God's name are you doing? That man was a British spy. He intended to kill you, Major Arnold. What? General Washington learned of the plot and sent me to foil it. Indeed. We need all the support we can muster. Some of my men are leaving on a munitions delivery to a nearby camp, and I need you to escort them. Find John Anderson upon your arrival. He'll have further instructions. Questions? 
No. <laughs> Good. You're such a lap dog. Heard Washington sent you to help. I got some things that need doing. Lord knows this fort is a right mess. If you got the time, see to this list, and it'll go a long way towards getting this place shipshape again. What? Uh, I don't feel like it. <sighs> What's up? Shoving traitors the way. Major General Arnold sent me to assist you. Yeah? All right, he's the boss. Thank goodness you're here. Doubt we could get all these crates down to the camp without you. You do not agree with this? You have an Allah. We're meant to garrison West Point, and by extension, hold the Hudson. It's vital, no arguing that. So why is it we're shipping out half our powder and shot? Why not bring up your concern with Major General Arnold? I have. He threatened to have me court-martialed for insubordination and treason, if you can believe that. <sighs> so I follow orders, no matter how absurd. Okay, where are we going? The marker isn't moving. What's it? Just escort. Oh, I'm supposed Thank to take a Thank goodness this one. you're here. Doubt we could get all these crates down to the camp without you. You do not agree with this? You have an Allah. We're meant to garrison West Point, and by extension, hold the Hudson. It's vital, no arguing that. So why is it we're shipping out half our powder and shot? Why not bring up your concern with Major General Arnold? I have. He threatened to have me court-martialed for insubordination and treason, if you can believe that. So I follow orders, no matter how absurd. Okay. What are they doing? Just put it here. Ah, the traitor is getting away. He's supposed to be on that ship. Get after him. You'll hang for this. <sighs> this meal is getting a bit tedious. I knocked him out, I didn't kill him. <sighs> You'll hang for this. What are you doing? supposed to do You'll hang for this Okay, I'm chasing him. Now what? I chased him. There we go. Chased. Uh. 
Like that? Okay. <sighs> it's not me, friend. I'm not the real traitor. I could tell you who it is if you let me go. Listen, listen. Just turn your back for five seconds and you'll never see me again. I don't want anything to do with this place. Listen, mate. I know you're just following orders, we'll have a but things aren't what they seem around here. I'm telling you. Is it money you want? Because I got money. How much to set me free? Be quiet. All right. All right. Listen, I can fix this. Just give me a chance and I'll prove to you I'm a real patriot. I want this country as much as the next man. Just let me show you. That the traitor. It is. Major General Arnold will have further orders for you. Sounds good. Welcome aboard, milady. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. No, can I please do something meaningful with my life? I'm guessing there's nothing to hunt here, huh? Other than Arnold? Ah, Connor. Just the man I wanted to see. Well done capturing the traitor, but I must ask more of you. There are some kegs of powder resting inside the fort. Bring them to the magazine. <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> oh my god. This is ridiculous. Stupid hands. Are you well? As well as I can be, given the circumstances. You? Same. But we're close. So very close. We need to talk about this someplace with fewer curious ears. Okay, talk. Has Clinton agreed? It is done. Only the matter of my compensation remains something of the utmost importance to me. <sighs> Deliver this letter. Make absolutely sure he gets it. And please be cautious. A mistake at this stage would be unfortunate. When we come out on the other side of this thing, I'll make sure you're rewarded, Major Andre. Generously. <laughs> you mean John Anderson, sir? Yes. Follow John Anderson. Uh, 
可以兵，可以步兵。Oh, they're back. Uh, mission complete. Okay. Good. Keep going. Soon, Massachusetts will be ours. Sir, sir, make knows. sure we're not followed. If anybody sees us, kill them. It's far enough for you two. Keep a keen eye and come for me when you see the smoke. Yes, sir. We'll be waiting, Major Andre. Can keep working on Georgia. I like follow missions. Follow mission should really be done from above. to move. Okay, what's going on here? Halt! Gentlemen, I hope you belong to our party. What party? The lower party. We do. Good. I'm an officer in the British Army and I must not be detained. I will chalk this mishap up to fatigue. But we ain't British, friend. And you are under arrest. Uh, that was merely a test, and you passed. 
I'm an officer of the Patriots, in truth. Here are my papers. Hmm. Rubbish! Kill him and bring his head to the commander. No! Do not kill him. Search him instead. Search his pouch. Blessed stars. His real name is Major Andre, and he's with the British. He carries this letter on behalf of Major General Benedict Arnold. Arnold is our commanding officer. Bind Andre's hands immediately and bring him to Commander Washington. I will see to Arnold. <laughs> but Arnold escapes. Right? Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, Major General. Connor, finished already. I have some more. Explain this. Hmm. Well, I don't know what this is. A letter in your hand. Addressed to General Clinton of the British Army confirming the surrender of West Point for the sum of 20,000 pounds. This must be some sort of plot to expose the fort. I'm a patriot through and through, Connor. I heard you. My actions at Saratoga speak to that, I'm sure. For your sake, I hope General Washington agrees. He will be arriving here today. Regulars! Regulars! We're under attack! And he's running. Who do I take? Main. Rally to the flag! To me! Arnold Stand betrayed us! Okay. That turncoat bastard! We secure the fort, then we deal with Arnold. I! Push them back! Defending the north gate. You idiots. The main! Push them back! Arnold betrayed us! That turncoat bastard! We secure the fort, then we deal with Arnold. I Stand tall, men! We're holding! Arnold has made it to the vulture! What, what? Rally to the flag! To me! And the southern gate. What's the southern gate? Form up! Form up! That thing? Must hold the fort. 
made it to the vault shop. Stand tall, men! We're holding! What? The main. The main. What's, What's the north gate? Back? What's the south gate? We secure gate? the fort, then we deal with Arnold. I. Stand tall, men. We're holding. Arnold has made it to the vault shop! Kill the sniper before we destroy the powder of the... We must hold the fort! Got it. Defend the southern gates. We've got enough men to hold the barrel! The main gate! The main! The main gate! The main! The Ready main gate! The, the main! The main gate! The main! The main gate! The main! The main gate! The main! We've not enough men The main gate! The main! The main gate! The main! Hold up! Hold up! The main gate! The main! 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 We've not enough men to hold the battlements! Kill the sniper! Stand tall, men! We're holding! Send the western gate. Okay, excuse me, I need it elsewhere. Form up! Form up! Push them back! I know that's made it to the vault shop! Kill the sniper. Where's the sniper? Let me operate my camera! Rally to the flag! To me! Ah, damn it! Jump! What are you doing, you idiot? We must hold ah. the fort! Kill the other Stand sniper. Tall, men. We're holding. What? Push them back. <sighs> the main. The main. The main. Push them back. The main. We secure the, the fort, gate. then we the deal main. with Arnold. I. Main gate, the main, the main gate, the main. Form up, form up. Stand tall, men. We're holding. You are not going anywhere. Arnold has made it to the vault shop! We must hold the fort! Kill the sniper. What? Stop fucking with to my me. camera. I know, shut up. Form up! Form up! Push them back! Thank you.
Tunnel is fitted to the vulture. There we go. He did. Rally to the flag! To me! We must hold the fort. Come on. Kill his ass. There's another sniper? Where? Stand tall, men! We're holding! Shoot him! We must hold the fort! <sighs> Keep running, you letters! <laughs> we did it! Well done! <sighs> I'm tired of all this. Connor. Really? Arnold was behind this, but he escaped. If you did not catch him, nobody could have. West Point is secure, and Major Andre will hang for his crimes. And Arnold? We'll try to find him, though I have my doubts. Whom can we trust now? If Patriot heroes are betraying us. You reap what you sow. What? Yeah. Valley Forge. The Great Law of Peace, uh, Constitution of the Hells, uh, Confederacy, uh, Basic Principle, Unified the Original Five Euro Nations, Good Tidings of Peace and Strength, Marxism Making Methodology, through so Consensus Building. Okay, now what? There's nothing left here. Why can't I zoom out? <laughs> Run, you lechers! Oh, that was West Point. Talk to district contact. It was a homestead mission. I'll do the homestead mission and then I'm calling it a day. They are down. Lift the siege. Do it.
That's a s uh, synchronization point. Mister, please, can you help me? What you doing? Uh, praise be to God. I was reaping my yield and these lobster backs attacked me. I mean only to sell my produce in the borough. Uh, please, they sent for reinforcements when I fought back. I only need to finish the harvest and I cannot rebuff them alone. Defend the farmer as he's harvesting. <laughs> okay. Reloading. Get him. Ooh, that looks painful. Stranger, this food will sell fast at a regular price. Those men have been seizing everything and driving up the cost. It's not right. No, you're right. Now give me some cartridge. Excellent. Smithfield, the finest provider of beef. Okay. Homestead mission. The madman prowls these streets with impunity. Not a madman. Ooh, got a box. No, I'm intrigued. Ouch. Oh, I'm incognito now. I know, shut up. And sink.
And assassins. Georgia is conquered. Climb. Now where is it? Where is it? It no camera. Working up a thirst in the sun. Why not try Bailey's Pale Ale? Available in the city's finer public house. What the hell is it? I couldn't see it. The Reverend Julius Foster will be guest preacher this Sunday at St. Mary's. And now uh, both dogs are licking me. This is the best timeline. No, I cannot tell you. What? Mister, my mother needs help, please. Please. What? Well. Where is your mother? Yes, push everyone out of the way. Let me go! Bugger! I guess you want a beating! I'm begging you to help me! Why won't you listen? Leave. Oh, the camera angles. That wasn't necessary. Seems I like can handle is. myself. When he returns, he'll try and give me twice the thrashing. Why would you stay with such a man? This is my house and business. It's my tailoring that paid for this place. I'll take his drunken buffoonery over leaving behind what I built. If I told you there was another place where you could live and work, free of him, would you consider it? The catch? No catch. Our village is growing and in need of all forms of trade. Just business and a new life. I'll come and see if what you say is true. Cool. Sewing so threads. Okay, I saw something over here. Yes, there was a box. And it's guarded. Italian flintlock. Oh, letter. Thank you. And another box. Give an hour of their labor this Saturday as the schoolhouse is in need of much restoration. There it is. War Tomahawk. Um, let me in. I can't.
<laughs> okay, another assignment is complete. Should have nothing to sell. I have some things to sell. Okay. Yeah, the other thing is, I just need to make it myself. Okay, so that's it for now. And I'll see you in New York, maybe over the weekend. If not, then next Monday, 8, 8 p.m. My schedule is available on my Twitch uh, channel about something. Um, that's it. Good night. Stay good. Have fun. Dodo. 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 Dodo.